Ladies and gentlemen, uh, from the showground at Norwich, a welcome to viewers joining us live and exclusive on Sky Sports to Friday Fight Night. This is the main event of the evening. Please welcome to the ring the challenger for the title from Stoke-on-Trent, Scott Lawson. Well, here is Scott Lawton bidding to be the first British champion for the city of Stoke for 84 years since Tommy Harrison held the British Empire and European Bantamweight Championships back between 1921 and 1923. That is a long, long wait. Lawton is a big underdog, but he's been doing extra training, extra weights, and he says that he'll make the city of Stoke proud of him by the end of the night. Well, he's got a, a big job on here, but he is the challenger. He will be fired up. This is a big, big chance for Scott Lawton. He's a useful stand-up boxer. He's going to have to use all those boxing skills just to outbox and outthink John Thaxford. Thirty years of age, 20 wins, two defeats, one draw, but stepping up to a completely new level here tonight. It would be a big shot if he was to dethrone Thaxton in Thaxton's own backyard. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the man from Norwich, uh, your very own champion, Jonathan Thaxton! John Thaxton's ring entry from an original idea by Russell Crowe with scenes from the Gladiator. he wanted he's fired up all right he says he's waited too long to become a British champion in a distinguished career to give it up so soon frankly his performance in winning the championship against Lee Meager a few months ago was dazzling close to sensational a career best effort he intends to do exactly the same again tonight a big local favorite John Thaxton and he's hardly ever in a bad fight. No, he's very good. The fight before Miga, Jorge Daniel Miranda, he was really on form there as well. So it's a good time in his career. He's got an awful lot of confidence now. He's the British champion. He'll want to put a great performance on right here. This is the tail of the tape for tonight's fight. Thaxton is 32 now, Indian summer time for him. Lawton looking for the big breakthrough at 30. Lawton is taller and has a reach advantage. How significant might that be? Both inside the nine stone, nine pound, lightweight limit. Thaxton so much more experienced. Look at that debut, 1992. 38 fights in that time. He's boxed 90 more rounds and is much the bigger puncher of the two. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials appointed for this contest, appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge, Mr. Dave Roden, the timekeeper, Mr. Peter McCann, the judges scoring the contest on the 10 must system, Mr. Mark Green, Mr. John Keane, and Mr. Ian John Lewis, all of England. And when the action begins, the third man in the ring this evening, a referee in charge of the action, Mr. Richie Davis from All Hallows in Kent. Live and exclusive on Sky Sports Friday Fight Night, 
This is the main event from Norwich, uh, where Hennessy Sports, in association with GoldenPalace.com and also sponsors Everlast and Carl Moore, proudly present a contest of 12 three-minute rounds to decide the lightweight championship of Great Britain. Between and introducing the boxers, and firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the burgundy trunks trimmed with gold. Uh, he comes from Stoke-on-Trent and weighed in at nine stone, eight pounds. He holds a 23 fight professional record, 20 wins, four wins coming by way of knockout with two losses and one draw. He's the current English uh, lightweight champion. Please welcome from Stoke-on-Trent, uh, Scott Lawton. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, across the ring in the red corner, wearing the black with, trimmed with gold. He weighed in at nine stone, eight pound and seven ounces. Holds a 38 five professional record, 31 wins, 16 wins by way of knockout with seven losses. He's a former IBO and uh, WBO intercontinental champion and the current uh, British Lightweight champion making the first defense of his title, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Norwich's number one son, John Faxton. <laughs> Referee Mr. Richie Davis will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Okay, fellas, you've both had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. Give me a good, clean contest. Behave yourselves, do as you're told, and make sure you defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands, good luck to you both. Richie Davis, the referee, who's just heard he's got a big appointment, refereeing Virgil Hill against Henry Masker, a rematch ten years on in Germany. And this one here for the British lightweight crown, classic weight division, this one, at 9 stone 9. First defence for John Thaxton on home territory against the underdog from Stoke, Scott Lawton. A late chance in his career at the age of 30. As you can see, he's tall, he's angular, has height and reach advantages. He's going to have to make his box tell and keep out of the way of Thaxton's hefty punching. Well, straight away, he's got to keep that chin down because he's just starting off very upright, the chin in the air. Scott Lawton needs to get into this fight with some long punches. Use the jab well. And it's a problem for Thaxton to solve, though, that height and reach. Pretty upright, though, Lawton. He was shaken up early against Steffi Bull when he fought him in Doncaster and uh, won the English title on that occasion. Lawton, so he says he doesn't mind the hostile atmosphere. He's caught by a right hand and he was wobbled. He was wobbled, his legs went a bit when that landed, and that was worrying. Thaxton getting through early. Well, a decent shot from Thaxton. Lawton's got to start throwing some punches out, just standing a little bit in shock there when he got hit with that shot. It just seemed to totter for a moment after it landed. Buxton very knowing, more experienced now. He listens to his own body better, he says, since he's come back after the car crash that nearly cost him his career. Bad shoulder injury, still has to have a bit of treatment for that from time to time. But it's not stopping him. Well, he's waiting too much, Lord. He's got to start throwing some shots back. Just get some respect off Thaxton early on. Thaxton, remember, good enough to go the distance with Ricky Hatton early-ish in Hatton's career. The night when Hatton could have easily been stopped by a cut, but wasn't.
to put on a show again, won't he, Baxter here? Yes, he will. And that could be a problem for him, that he tries a bit too hard. Still go about his boxing with a game plan. His speed is important as well, and perhaps his boxing skills are a little underrated at this stage as well. He says, I can't really box, but what I've got is experience, determination, fire. There's still plenty of desire, and he's won that first round. Well, a great start for John Faxon in defence of his English uh, British lightweight title here. He wobbled Scott Lawton in the first round, Glenn. Yes, it was just a pretty wild swing to the, the top of the head and just a little after effect, wasn't it, from Lawton, just as he tried to get his balance totted a little bit. But it's very early on, and he's just caught a little cold there. Second round, Faxon with the shaven skull and the black and gold trunks. The maroon of Scott Lawton from Stoke. It's really loading up, isn't he, Thaxton? Not neglect his jab and his boxing, work his way in. Needs to establish his jab in this fight, you think, Lawton, to have any kind of chance, get his boxing going and be busy. He's going to have to be smart. Does he know enough? Is he good enough? Another left hand gets through. Blood from the nose of Lawton, who promises the performance of his career here, whatever happens. That's what he says. Well, it's going to take the performance of his career to lift the British title. Just want to see him use that jab to better affect Lawton. Try and get the, the scent of the ring with a solid jab. There's a lot of body for Thaxton to aim at. At the moment, he's head-hunting a little. And that chin is a bit high of Lawton's. He has never been stopped, to be quite fair to him, in his career so far. But is this a question of levels? In other words, is Lawton up to the level of Thaxton? Well, maybe it's the perfect opportunity for Lawton to raise to that level. Only one way to find out, be in there with him. He got in with a good right hand there, did uh, Lawton. He's ranked about nine in Britain, just to put it in perspective. And he's just starting to stand his ground more, Lawton, looking to try and get that jab going. Two more encouraging signs for Lawton in this round. Right hand again from Lawton. He does well there. In a body shot. Important he doesn't freeze on the biggest night of his career so far. He just wiped away and dabbed away at his eye there. Didn't get a closer look. I can't see any real damage there. Maybe just part of a bit of grazing or something. Caught by a left hand. By Thaxton, who can bang a bit when he's in the mood. I remember him taking out Paul Scrap Iron Ryan in a round at Bethnal Green a decade or so ago. He's having a little better success, Lawton, trying to get his punches off and use the jab, and now looking for body punches. Better from Lawton in this second round. Starting to settle into it a little. That was better from him. We like that. Nothing, nothing. nothing. Welcome back to the showdown at the showground as they're calling it here. Boxing love, you boxing love, mate. Norfolk. Is he resting the moment, right? Don't worry about it. Just take it out, take it out of his legs. Take it out of Jim his Evans doing the legs. talking his big success recently with Michael Sprott against Audley Harrison, of course. Oh, oh, just leaping in with a shot. Third round, black and gold, John Thaxton, who's not lost now since 2002 when Eamon McGee stopped him. No, uh, no shame in losing to him. There's the old switch hitting, which he's done all his career. He's naturally a southpaw, really, Thaxton. The body shot from him there. The body shot's maybe the answer for Thaxton here tonight. 
Yes, I think he is looking to, to headhunt a little too much and looking for too big a punch. Just needs to work his way in and go for the body. Lawton coming back with shots of his own, though, as Thaxton tries to pin him and punish him in that corner. But that's not where Lawton wants to be. He doesn't want to be with his back up against the ropes in the corner. He needs to get sent to the ring. Body shot there from Lawton, who's watched a lot of Thaxton takes. He's gone up from two training sessions a day to three training sessions. He's used weights to build in extra strength to cope with Thaxton's obvious power in that kind of department. He's got only about 150 fans here among a raucous Norwich crowd who are very pro Thaxton, of course. He's their hero. Better from Lawton, looking to lead with the jab. Going to try and beat Thaxton to the punch. Keep him off balance. Use his height and reach. Thaxton finding it a little more difficult to impose himself in quite the same way he did against Lee Meaver on the night that he won this British lightweight title. a little harder style-wise with this guy. Yes, his, his punches sometimes look the flashier of Texans because he throws them wide. But some of these punches are, are effective inside from Lawton. Strong and confident, you feel. He does have an angry-looking bruising by the left eye already. Lawton. And he's acquitting himself well over the last couple of rounds. Just occasionally Thaxton looking a little wild. Yes, I think he's just trying a bit too hard and Thaxton and uh, that was a good round from Lawton. God, he's getting wild. Welcome back to Norwich. Getting interesting here. Scott Lawton so far. Making a decent argument of this with John Thaxton. That's a good body shot, wasn't it? Yep, that was a, a good body shot. Missed with the, the right hand, but found the gap under the right elbow. Here's the fourth round of this. Black and gold defending champion John Thaxton. On home territory here with Scott Lawton of Stoke. Use of the shoulder there by Thaxton, that's what Richard Davis didn't like. You saw that, he says, watch it, I'm on your case. Oh, now, well, defend yourself at all times. And uh, for a moment, Thaxton dropped the gloves, Lawton took advantage. A little bit of blood by the right eye now of Thaxton as well. I don't know if it was a clash of heads there somewhere. Yes, there's definitely a bit of damage there at the right eye. And he's starting to set himself to throw that right hand, Lawton. Looking to bring a bit of power into this. Well, he knew this was the night of his life. He prepared for it. And he might prove a tougher nut to crack than many people imagined. Well, he's too fired up, I think, John Thaxton. He needs to settle down, relax. He needs to start boxing his way in. He's trying to knock Lawton out of the ring, make a big impact, and he's forgetting everything he's learned. Can he solve the problems? Baxter still looking to headhunt a little. He fancies that he can blast Lawton out of the fight. Lawton was a long time a Midlands amateur before going pro, pretty late in life at 25. He did lose an ABA final back in 1998. It's quite a significant cut by the right eye that Thaxton has. One decent right to the body got through from Thaxton. But 
but he's getting frustrated, Saxton. He's been picked off from long range, making big mistakes, trying to load up too much. Looks for a sweeping right uppercut there. Scott Lawton, that one didn't land this time. That's better from Paxton, goes to the body. Almost for the very first time. Again, using those straight punches to good effect. He's not a power puncher, Lawton, but he's doing well here. Just to keep his work rate going, though. Covering up well, little smile just across his face. Doing all right here, Scott Lawton. Uses his jab there. Catches him with a good right hand. It's a meaty sort of shot, but that time Lawton took it okay. Right, get your legs out and breathe. Breathe. Okay? Good defense. Don't your eyes close. Yeah, keep your eyes closed. Okay? Control that breathing. It was a clash of heads, by the way, that caused the cut for Faxton, we believe. Graham Everett, local man, who mixes with the Ingles in looking after Faxton. And there it is. Just coming in at the south coast stance. Lawton, orthodox and often Two fighters, different stances, clash heads, and took it quite heavily in the, the eye there. Don't dance by talking with the beginning. Conclusive proof that was what caused it. Not going quite the way that John Faxon and the team might have imagined after his glory night against Lee Meager to win this crown. Oh, it's a good right hand there from Faxon who looks like he really means business at the start of the round, looking to raise the tempo yet again. Wants to show who's boss now, he has Lawton where he wants him, in the corner. Lawton covers up well, gets his gloves up and keeps his chin down. Yep, that's good defensive work from Lawton, taking those shots on the gloves. Baxton using a lot of energy, really trying to throw big, big punches. Really loading up with him, isn't he? Yes, for me, too much because by doing that, he's telegraphing the punch. And now the good punches, their punches just come naturally. You know, they just they've got a nice rhythm, and that's where they take a, an opponent by surprise. That's where they hurt. There's a good body shot at the start of that rally from Paxton. I think he's neglected that area so far. Just my opinion. That's a long thin body and there's a big target area there with Lawton and Lawton's been competitive as good as his word so far and good accurate stuff from him there he boxes well Paxton switches again Lawton's keeping his cool under pressure. Paxton did get through with one there. Nothing wrong though so far with Lawton's chin. We did wonder early on when he seemed to topple for a moment when Paxton caught him with one of those early right hands. Well, I'll tell you what, he's determined. Scott Lawton, he wants this. Well, there might not be any other chance for him if he fails tonight. This is the opportunity, this is the night, this is the moment. Just refusing to let Thaxton dominate him. Stand his ground and keep the centre of the ring. He needs to use the jab a bit more. Lawton, he's just covered up a lot. The defence has been good, but he needs to work on his attack as well. 
finally sustain this effort, Lawton. Welcome back to Norwich. Jim Evans there working in the corner with Scott Lawton. all the time. You're doing it. Is this going to start to come your way now? Well, there were some good attacks from Thaxton. He really went out that round to try and make an impression. Loaded up a lot. But Lawton got through it. Good defence. Here we go with round six of this. Any thoughts that... Uh, Paxton was going to put Lawton away early and would outclass him, have proved to be, well, unfounded, really. Good work rate, though, from Faxton at the start of the round. He won't be stopping, that's for certain. He's a buzzy little character and always has been. His fights have usually been pretty good value for money. Rams home the jab a couple of times. A bit busier than Lawton in this phase of the contest here. Yes, Lawton just looking to defend. He's got to start using that jab, trying to push Thaxton on the back foot a little bit, beat him to the punch. See, that's the next test for Lawton. He's done OK so far. But is he going to be able to cope with the relentlessness over the championship distance of Thaxton? Certainly looks focused, Lawton. Good shots again there from Thaxton. He took one back. So having to work really hard for this, Thaxton, isn't he? I think he might have thought this was going to be an easier job. Well, I think a lot of people thought it was an easy-ish job. Well, therein might lie the problem. Just mentally might have just not been as keyed up for this. Just beginning to settle and pick his punches a little better, Thaxton. Not quite so wild now, and significantly, Glenn, going to the body more. Yes, well, he had to do that. You know, he's not loading up as much. I think he's now getting the respect for the chin of Lawton, thinking, I've got to do this another way. That's where the experience comes in handy when you've been in people uh, with people like Hatton and McGee over the years. So the setbacks along the way in and out of the ring. This is the best yet, I think, from Faxton. Yes, he's taking his time, he's not rushing, looking to place his shots better. But Lawton still having success inside, covering up quite well. Just not quite doing enough, really, at this point. Not quite. Thinking about in terms of winning the rounds. Some decent body punching in this round from Thaxton. Good stuff here, and still to come this weekend, Barrera v Marquez, live from Vegas. Look at this! Big shot! Oh, and he's starting to dismantle him here. Incredible action. The goal in class, far too much. It's a potential classic, Sky Sports 2, 1am, Sunday morning, and if you're not a night out, replays on Sunday morning, 9am, Sky Sports 2, 11.30, Sky Sports 3. Back to the action here. Here's the seventh round of this, Thaxton in the black and gold, certainly not having things all his own way against Scott Lawton, but is he just beginning to take charge of things, Glenn? Well, he just seemed to be settling down, picking his punches better, his experience is starting to tell. Never mixed at anything like 
this kind of level before. Only two, oh, it's a big right hand, big right hand there from Faxton. That jolted into the head of Lawton, who took it well. It simply switched, spraying as it landed. And uh, a little time out here. Bad cut there, just yeah. above the bridge of the nose. And that was serious enough for Richie Davis to call an immediate halt to the proceedings to get that scene to. Now, did that punch do that? Did that big right hand do that? Well, I'm not really sure. We'll have a look at that soon. But it was a big right hand. And now, spurred by that, maybe even a bit annoyed by it, Lawton decides he'll meet fire with fire in centre ring. Baxton doesn't mind that, this is his game. And getting the better of these exchanges, he's the bigger hitter of these two. Lawton leers at Baxton, even smiles through the gum shield, as if relishing the battle here on this big night for him. A blood coming from that cut, but he's standing his ground, spitting out defiance. Lawton, it's a problem he didn't need in the fight. And now he tries to come back at Paxton with a couple of right hands on the inside. This thing's warming up a bit here. Fair imitation of a buzzsaw, doesn't he, the Norwich man? See some big shots in this round. Lawton's face is a mess at this point in the game. They've got work to do in that corner, and it's running into the eye and just obscuring the vision. brought the crowd to life a bit as well. Well, there's Lawton going to start to be worn down by these punches. So far he's performed with distinction, but that right hand, he's all over the place, and the fight is stopped. That's it, one punch did it in the seventh round, and John Baxton retains the British lightweight title in front of his adoring fans in Norwich. All over in an instant for Scott Lawton. A big right rocked him to the soles of his boots and he was stopped on his feet by an alarmed Richie Davis, the referee, who decided he could take no more in that condition. Baxton delivers again. Yeah, he found the punch he needed. But he was just standing there, standing still, Lawton, and it just seemed as if you know, it would all start coming away yeah, from him. Down, and it did, but a lot quicker than we thought. One punch. And at the end of it, Faxton walked up to Lawton and said, what a fighter you are. That's great, isn't it? Yes, good respect. He deserved it. He really put on a brave challenge. He wanted to win this. Well done to John Faxton. He's really enjoying these late years of his career. He thought he'd never win a British title. He looked like the injury from the car crash had sent him to retirement. His wife told him, stop watching it on the TV. Stop moaning about other fighters. Put up or shut up. Get back in the ring. He did that and the results have been spectacular and this is how he did it tonight like this there big right hand just cuts the nose of lawton and it was a very good shot you see straight away the the, the cut and the blood and then it's a big right hand right on the chin the reaction is bad, he's got a smile on his face, but his legs are all over. Richie Davis rightly jumps in, saves him from any further punishment. Well, but a big, sweeping right hand, right on the chin. Look at the legs. Yeah, 
It was like a spinning top there, wasn't he? Lawton, Richie Davis, spot on with the stoppage. No way that Lawton could take any more in that kind of condition because he was a sitting target for more damaging punches. And the battle cry from John Thaxton, who says he would do anything and has instructed the people around him, if you get any offer of a world championship fight for me, against the odds, take it, don't care what the money is, I must, must get a world title shot, it's a long way away, a poor old Scott Lawton, rocked on his heels by that, he loses nothing in defeat, he made a real good argument of it for as long as it lasted, but Thaxton wins again here, and Norwich loves him for it. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 40 seconds of round seven, the referee has stopped the contest with Scott Lawton in no position to continue. The winner and still lightweight champion of Great Britain, that is his John Thaxton. 11 straight wins for Thaxton. And ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciations to a very good opponent indeed, Scott Lawton. Well, this is. Uh, <laughs> He's going to put the belt around the waist of uh, John Thaxton in what is, by the way, the first leg of a sporting double between Norwich and Stoke this weekend. The two teams play each other in the championship in the football at Carrow Road tomorrow. I don't know who John Thaxton's talking to. I think he's got a link to somebody in pretty high places at the moment. <laughs> well, it was a, a good shot to, to finish that, and he's over the moon. John Thaxton, beloved British Lonsdale belt around his waist. And it was a little difficult early on. He was trying that bit too hard against a stubborn Scott Lawton. But eventually it came right for John Thaxton. He started to relax and as soon as he did, he started to find out the right punches. And for Lawton, I thought he did well enough to maybe get another shot at the British title somewhere down the road. Somewhere down the road, definitely. Nothing to be ashamed of. Good performance from him. Meanwhile, a triumphant John Thaxton, I think, is ready to talk to Ed Robinson. Well, John, a successful first defence. Did that all go to plan in the end? Um, in the end, yes. He, uh, I knew it would be a completely different fight to, uh, to obviously, the Mega fight. He was very different, very awkward but I knew we'd get them in the end, so it came to me being a little bit more aggressive um, and doing that, but, you know, it was a fantastic occasion tonight, being in Norwich, but also having my old man carrying my belt in. I'm very proud I was able to do that and to give him the chance of doing that, and, you know, and... Uh, Home crowd, were you a little bit too fired up only, a little bit too wild? Maybe a little bit, because at the end of the day, I knew I had to get on him. With Lee Meager, he was coming to me, so it was different style. Graham studied the videos and videos, studied them all the time. And, you know, we came up with this game plan, just keep on and keep on, you will get him. And I got him. But, you know, he took some right ammo. I, I had him, I caught him early in the first round, wobbled him a bit, but he'd done fantastic. And it's great being back in Norwich. Um, you know, like I said, it's one, one, one nil to Stoke now. Norwich City are playing Stoke tomorrow. Yeah. Huckabee, score another one of them goals. I tried to get a punch as good as one of his goals, but you know what I mean. Well, promoter Mick Hennessy's here. Mick, what's next for John after that performance? Well, I mean, incredible fight. So, uh, you know, the sky's the limit, really. I mean, there's Yuri Romanoff, European champion. Uh, Michael Cassididis, who fought over here recently. That would be an incredible fight. That's one we'd like to look at. And, um, you know, they're talking about Amir Khan fighting for a world title by the end of the year. Why not the British champion first? Well done tonight. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.